Hello, good morning. My name is Victor Okuisen, and I am the uh, professor in the Manufacturing Engineering program. And today I'm going to uh, talk to you about the various activities that you're going to be performing in the MFE 2010 lab uh, ma for manufacturing processes. The first lab that you're likely to do is the heat treatment lab. The heat treatment area is back here. We have a couple furnaces and a quench tank. And what we do there is we take some steel and then we heat treat it in different ways so that you can uh, obtain different properties. Sometimes you get it very soft and ductile. Sometimes you get it very strong and stiff so that it just breaks instead of uh, the form. So, and those are the types of things that you're going to be doing in that particular lab. And of course, quantifying, taking hardnesses, those types of things. The next set of labs that you're going to do is going to be the metal casting labs. For the metal casting labs, what we're going to do, that's the first one where we're going to start making parts for the actual main project of the class, which is this truck. And as you can see, this is a truck that has multiple components. The main body of the truck is made with uh, casting, and we use this pattern. And what we do is we compact sand that we have back there around the pattern to create a cavity, and in that cavity, is where we melt, we melt the metal and we pour the metal to, to get that basic shape. We will then proceed to machine it to the finished condition. Another casting activity that you are going to be performing is investment casting, where you will be making some keychains, uh, and that takes place over next to the heat treatment area. Other things that we are going to be doing during casting, because part of the project of the lab is to have understand what the quality control processes are, etc. We have a sand uh, testing suite for when we make the molds to make sure that the sand is of the proper quality and it will yield a good uh, final casting. And over here in this part of the lab, we have our melting furnaces. This is where we will melt the metal and pour the liquid metal into the mold to get our final shape. Now, let me go ahead and show you the other part of the lab where we do our plastics uh, processing. Okay, now we are in the plastic side of the lab. We're still in building 13, we're uh, next to the foundry. Uh, what we are going to be doing in the plastics lab is a couple of different exercises. The first one is thermal forming, where we basically take a mold and from that mold, we heat up the plastic, and then we form it directly on top of that. And the engineering here is to look at how much we can stretch the plastic and still get a functional part, because in the deep cavities of the part that you make, you tend to stretch the plastic very thin, and then it becomes not usable. And the other exercise that we do is we do injection molding, and we use this uh, piece of equipment here, this is an injection molding machine. We are currently making little Frisbees, and the, we, this will be more of a demonstration. Uh, and the other thing that we do is we have various molds here that are taken apart. And you take them apart and you look at the parts so you can see, again, how you design for the manufacture of the component. And next, we're going to go to the Building 17 to the other labs. Now we are in building 17 in our main manufacturing lab. This is where we do the machining, sheet metal, and 3D printing, amongst a couple of other things. In the previous lab, we cast the, our raw casting. So now we need to go ahead and machine it to complete our truck. The way that we machine it is we bring the main body of the truck, we put it inside of a mill with a fixture, and uh, then we go ahead and we proceed to mill the front, the back, and drill the holes where we're going to be putting the screws to hold the wheels on. For the wheels, what we do is we get, we come on over here to the lathe, and this is the part that we're going to be making. This is a drawing, and we're going to be using a CNC program for that, and we're going to machine this wheel out of this piece of bar stock. So we put this in the machine and we let the CNC go ahead and do 
the work to our final shape. Other things that we do in this lab include 3D printing. We have an array of 3D printers, normally not here, but over there. And uh, what we make here is typically we make some keychains or uh, little things like that, but that is also part of the lab. And next, we're going to go over to the sheet metal area. Now we are in the sheet metal area, still in the same lab as the machining lab. What we're going to be doing here is, for our truck project, we're going to be making the bed of the truck. And uh, so this is what the bed looks like when it's uh, completed. And we're going to start with a piece of sheet metal. The first step is to get the dimensions and lay out what we're going to cut off and what we're going to bend. We are then going to proceed to punch holes where appropriate. There, then we are going to shear off uh, the parts of the sheet that we are not going to use. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and bend in the different uh, areas to get the edges that we need. The very last step is going to be to go ahead and rivet and spot weld the uh, areas of the truck that need it. And then we'll be done with that. Now, let's go ahead and proceed to the welding area. Now we are in the welding lab. This is one of our booths, and we have multiple booths where you will get to practice different types of welding processes. We have the ability to do oxyfuel welding, brazing, and cutting. We have the ability to do stick welding, TIG welding, and MIG welding. And we have that capability in each one of our booths. Uh, what you will likely be making is you will take some pieces of metal and make a stand for your truck for display purposes. We are looking at the training you as an engineer in all these various processes. So you will not become a welder, you will not become a machinist, but you will become competent enough to design for these processes as well as control them for quality control purposes and performance purposes. With that, thank you for your attention through our, the tour of our labs, and we look forward to seeing you in here in the near future. Thank you.